All right, folks, back on the Boss Man Show here with new head coach of the Western Michigan Broncos, Coach Dwayne Stevens here with me on the Boss Man Show. Coach Stevens, how are you doing this morning, sir? I'm great, man. How are you? Thanks for having me. Coach, I'm great, man. Playoff time here in Atlanta. Hopefully the Hawks will do something with the Miami Heat, but I'm not feeling too good right now, Coach. <laughs> yeah, Trey, you got to play better for you, for Atlanta to play, uh, to, to have a, a chance. He's got to play a little better. I think they got a little physical with him. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, Coach, you know, you've been on system for a long time, man, D1. So how's it feel to be the head coach, man, have run your own show now, man, after all these years of being an assistant, man? You know what? It's, it's, it's been pretty good, man. It's been really good, actually. Uh, like you said, I was assistant for quite a long time. And uh, to move over that one seat, uh, as everyone says, you never know what it feels like until you do it. And uh, it's been great so far. I hear that. Now, Coach, how'd you prepare for that? I know when I was a co-host back in the day, man, I was always in my head thinking about if I was the head, man, how I run the show, how I ask this kind of questions. So for you, man, how was it trying to prepare yourself to be a come head coach when you was in that role as assistant assistant coach? Now that you're in that role, now you put all those notes you had to, to use now and running, running away with the show here now. You know what? For me, it was uh, it was pretty easy because Coach Izzo allowed us to wear a lot of different hats as assistants. And as a head coach, uh, you have to wear a lot of different hats. Uh, ultimately, the, you're the decision maker, and that would be the biggest difference. No doubt. And uh, talk about Kalamazoo, man. Uh, you know, I know that town is very popular, man. You know, a lot of great tradition up there. I mean, tell us about what about this program you made you want to make this move and this time to make the jump now to become a head man? Well, Kalamazoo is a great city. Um, my wife actually uh, worked here for 10 years uh, before moving to Lansing. Uh, so she knows the city well. Uh, the biggest thing for me was uh, the vision of uh, our uh, AD, Dan Bartholomew, and uh, he, he's been unbelievable uh, thus far. And just looking forward to, to what he has in store for uh, Western Michigan Athletics. And the commitment to the basketball program to me was there. And at the end of the day, Coach Izzo always told us, never leave. Uh, unless you go to a program where you think you're going to be uh, in the last two weeks competing for a championship. And I feel like we can do that here at Western Michigan. No doubt, Coach. Also about what is good about the MAC is one of the top mid-major conferences in America, man. The MAC's always up there from top to bottom, man. It's like you just you just can't get away from it. Like, you know what I'm saying? The ball up there, Michigan, man, is great. Uh, you know, talk about that, man, the, the, the basketball, that conference, man. And being being from Michigan, where you recruited that, it was State already, guys who you couldn't get to Michigan State probably was a little bit below you guys' level. Now you can get them here to Kalamazoo for you guys. Yeah, I think the MAC is a great conference, uh, super competitive conference. Uh, every night you got to strap it up because uh, you're going to be in for a heck of a game. I think there's some uh, great coaches in this conference, and I'm just looking forward to competing with those guys. I hear that, Coach. You know, and I'm asking this, man, um, what's going to be your ideal Bronco coming in? What kind of young man do you want to have in your program to build this foundation, build this culture that you want to have for years to come? Well, there's no question we want to build a winning culture. And uh, – that means we're going to win on the court. We're going to win off the court. We're going to win in the classroom. Uh, so that that ideal Bronco, uh, obviously, he's going to be a high character kid. Uh, he's going to be a kid with uh, unbelievable toughness, and he's going to be a great teammate. And uh, better than more than that, he's going to be a great student athlete, and uh, he's going to support his teammates and support uh, the rest of the sports here at uh, Western Michigan. And coach, since I'm got the academic stare, that that degree at West Michigan is a good degree. You know, they see that name. Hey, guys can get a job off that. And coach, coach, as you know, and I both know the boss has bouncing for these young guys at some point. Even follow us the stops at one point. So talk about that piece of it, coach. Is that hey, you need to realize, hey, yes, you're you're a basketball player here. Yes, boss, you're a student first. You should want to get that degree so once basketball ends, you can do something successful with your life beyond the court. Well, I think that's one thing that Coach Izzo taught me is that uh, academics is a huge part of uh, what we do. We recruit these kids and, you know, we promise them that we're going to help them chase their dreams. Uh, a lot of these guys have dreams of playing basketball after college. And uh, for us to help them chase that dream, uh, we got to push them. Uh, but I, I am a big believer in how you do in the classroom is a reflection of how you're going to play on the court. 
So if you're struggling in the classroom, you're probably going to struggle on the court. Uh, I think with NIL and with the portal, uh, the education uh, part of a student athlete has been devalued. And uh, we had to get back to making it a big deal uh, for these kids to get their degrees because for 99% of them, that ball is going to stop bouncing. And now they got to go out and, and find a job and, uh, you know, <laughs> work for the rest of their lives. So uh, I think as, as coaches, it's our responsibility to make sure that these guys are, are handling their business both on and off the court. No doubt, Coach. Got to let me explain this question about building, building, building your program. I know – is with the change in portal things like almost each roster is year you like in the NBA is it's year to year now. So with guys getting upset, getting the portal, some guys can't find them at home. So knowing that how the portal is now with NIL as you mentioned, um, it's gonna be a mixture of high school kids, international guys, portal guys, you know, trying to build this roster the right way because I'm trying to keep it continuity as well and build a program knowing that guys you gotta keep recruiting your own guys because they might leave on you too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a tough deal. Uh, we were fortunate that no one entered the portal here at, at Western Michigan. And, uh, you know, we're very fortunate. So uh, when, it, when it comes to what my roster is going to look like and how I'm going to build it, um, I think the biggest thing for me is I want to build my program from within. Uh, I, I want to recruit high school kids and, and let them grow within the program so that uh, there's a, a sense of ownership uh, within the, the program. And, and then for specific needs, I think you can dip into the portal and, 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 and balance out your roster. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, things could always change, but right now that's what we're going to do. Coach, I've been getting to know the guys on the roster right now, doing those relationships and bonds with those guys. Because you, you not both know being in sports, rapport relationships are the biggest part of whether the guy believes in you will stay and play for you. So how's it been getting to know these young men, building a bond with these young men as they know you're here to forbid them going forward? Oh, it's been great. You know, our guys have been uh, awesome. They've welcomed me with open arms. Uh, with, there have been some adjustments in, in how we do our workouts and – uh, just bringing more passion and energy to the to the table every day. And that's something that we're looking for, uh, and that's going to be the standard. Uh, but we're going to spend a great amount of time with our guys. Um, I think, that, like you said, relationships is the key to, to having a successful program and uh, having that respect within the program. And uh, we're just looking to spend as much time with those guys as we can and build that rapport. And uh, so far, it's been awesome. And the good thing about you getting hired early as you did, you can get on the court with these guys now before they go home for summer and come back. So you can kind of give them a workout plan when they go home because player development is very important. As you know, as you know, and I know from being around basketball these years, that piece of the part is not talked about as much. But seeing a guy develop and getting better over the summertime, because during the season you're trying to prepare for a team, getting the whole team better. But in the summertime, where you can really get a guy to be get, grow his game offensively, defensively, and with individual drills as well. Yeah. Uh, so we have been able to get on the, the court a little bit. The guys have been doing their uh, strength and conditioning uh, workouts as well. Uh, our on-court work was awesome. I think uh, I brought some new things to them. Um, you know, we're going to be a team that's going to get up and down the floor. So uh, the, the pace and speed of which, in which we did things, I, I think, was a little different for them. Uh, but they handled it pretty good uh, as we went on. And just excited for them to get a break here, uh, go home and, and recharge the batteries and then come back uh, in June and get after it. So uh, we're, we're excited uh, about getting a chance to work with them and, and use, <clears throat> using our eight weeks <clears throat> this summer. Uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And coach, for you, man, I'm going to ask you, I know my father is a coach, he's 81 years old. Um, what made you want to get into coaching? And he was trying to get me to go to coach. I said, Dad, I can't do it. Uh, I rather just talk about it already. I don't want to get into that business you that you're in. How, but what made you want to get into that business of coaching? So my dad is 81 years old, still talks to his guys and those relationships he has those just, just young me. He tells me all the time, Yes, you're my biological son, but I got a bunch of sons besides you. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, I, I knew pretty early on that I wanted to get into coaching. Uh I, I was a very hard worker. Uh, on the court, and I, I was a guy that had to work for kind of everything that I got. It didn't come as naturally uh, natural as it did, did to some. Uh, I, I would say I was a good to average athlete. Uh, so all the stuff that the coaches did 
in terms of preparing us with scouting reports and, you know, knowing which way a guy goes. That was all stuff that I had to uh, really embrace in order to, uh, to compete at a high level. Uh, so I knew that that was something that I wanted to get into uh, at a pretty early age. And I was fortunate enough to, to play overseas for uh, four years and uh, had a couple NBA tryouts and uh, just didn't, didn't, didn't get over the hump. But uh, once I came back from over in Europe, I, I got right into coaching and uh, I've been blessed to to be able to coach at some uh, remarkable institutions and uh, Western is no different. Uh, can excited about the opportunity and uh, just can't wait to get going. I'm going to ask you about Atlanta, coach. When you come to Atlanta, coach, what's your favorite spot to eat down here, man? When you come, come down here to ATL? Oh, man. Well, it's funny because they used to be Gladys Knights, and they, I heard they closed it. Yeah, uh, they did, so. unfortunately. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so, so that's uh, that's uh, that was my spot. But uh, there's a lot of awesome uh, places to eat down there, uh, but that was my spot. Well, coach, if you come down here, here we come down here for the for Lake Point, the Peace Jam. Uh, love to link up with you, man. Uh, to show you some new spots down here, man. I got, I got a bunch of them for you, coach. That, that you'll definitely enjoy for you and your family, man. I appreciate that. I look forward to it, coach. Thank you for your time this morning. It was real fun, man. Thank you. All right. Take care, man. Thank All you, right, now, man. coach.